Hello everybody, and welcome to my wood shop. So I took a little trip up to South Bend, Indiana last week, and I stopped at a woodworking store up there and found this beautiful chunk of wood, Monkey Pod. I don't think I'd ever heard of it before, and wow, is it expensive. Goodness. So I'm going to be very deliberate with uh, how I use this chunk of wood. I think I already know what I'm going to do with uh, the majority of it. One of which you're going to see today. What I see in this wood is beautiful grain that already has a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of a color change. Uh, so I'm thinking when I turn this into a, a beautiful centerpiece platter and get it all finished up, it should uh, should have a nice chatoyance. should have some nice color change going on. That's my hope. And I love the contrast of the, uh, the heartwood and the sapwood. So distinct. And for this uh, bowl or platter, I'll be using a faceplate to mount to the lathe. at the bottom side of the bowl here and the first thing I'm going to do and I usually have to flatten these out first but I don't on this one because it's dimensional lumber but what I'm doing here is I'm defining the foot of the bowl that inside circle is going to be uh, the mortise but the way I shape it uh, it's going to be nice looking it's not just going to be a divot in the bottom of the bowl it's going to have an actual defined foot and that very uh, small center uh, area that I'm cutting out here is for the ID tag. I'm only going about a quarter of an inch deep because that's all my chuck jaws need to hold on to. You can see there's some nice shavings coming off of this, but wow, is there a lot of dust. I'm glad I wore my, my uh, dust mask for this one. I'll show you pics at the end of the video, before and after. One time use for that one.
I just can't get over how pretty this wood is. So I got the bottom side shaped the way I wanted and the foot defined. So I uh, started sanding at 120 up to 220 and then I used some shellac based sanding sealer and then I uh, went back at it with 120 up to 1000 grit and then I used Axe products to finish this bowl off. So I just unscrew the faceplate, mount that four jaw chuck onto the lathe and those jaws uh, will be expanding holding onto the mortise while I work on the inside of the bowl. So this super expensive wood I think is best shown with a fairly simple design that's going to accentuate the grains a nice gentle uh, sweep down to the bottom unlike the steeper sides that I tend to do we'll see I hope you like what I do here It's a little bit uneven, a little groovy, baby. So I'm just taking the negative rig scraper to it, just a little bit. Didn't take much. Like it says on the screen, I use the exact same process on the inside of the bowl as I did the outside, so I'm not going to cover that again. And there's that color change I was looking for. Dark to light. A little bit of grain movement as it turns. And you can see in the sapwood there, there's a, a little worm trail. There's one on the outside and the inside, two separate trails. Just little points of interest that I decided to leave and not sand out or cut out. That wood sure is pretty. Let me know what you think. And here's the before and after on the dust mask. My lungs are thankful I wore it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate your time. God bless and Semper Fi.